Hello. This week, as we get closer to the big day, as Christmas approaches, we've begun to reflect on some of the key characters in the Christmas story and to think about what they tell us about God's love for us. Have you ever played the part of an angel in a nativity play? I was always a shepherd or Joseph, but these wings, which belong to my daughter, have done many years of loyal service and look particularly good when paired with a tinsel halo and a white pillowcase with cut out armholes. Angels appear time and again throughout the Christmas story, to Zechariah, to Mary, to Joseph, as well as to the shepherds. They are messengers from God. But what is noticeable as we read through the Gospel accounts is that they often begin their message with the words, do not be afraid. Today's reading is taken from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. At the time Jesus was born, angels had a bad reputation. They weren't at all the cute little tinsel-clad figures we're used to seeing in our church nativity plays. In the Old Testament, people believed that angels were frightening and capable of bringing about the destruction of people who didn't follow God's plan. In the Christmas story, Phil, we see the angels coming to bring good news rather than destruction. Through the birth of Jesus, they have changed. Everything has changed. The Almighty God, who so many feared, has come down to our world as a little baby, and the world will never be the same again. If you've been watching the BBC News recently, you might have seen some of the articles about Pastor Mick Fleming, who works to support the poor in Burnley in the north of England. One of the images which struck me most was of Pastor Mick sitting on the pavement beside a homeless man, praying and offering practical support. A true example of someone following Jesus' teaching and reaching out with love to the very poorest in society. Pastor Mick wasn't always like this. When he was younger, he was arrested for attempted murder, for kidnapping, and for drugs and firearms offences. He also attempted to take his own life. It was at this lowest point, while he was a patient in a psychiatric unit, that he met the minister who made Jesus real for him. Through the birth of Jesus, the angels were changed. Through accepting Jesus into his life, Pastor Mick was also changed. Can we allow Jesus to change us this Christmas? To help us turn from old habits, which others perhaps find frightening or off-putting? Are we willing to be sent out into the world as messengers of God's love, just as the angels were that first Christmas? Wherever we are, during the strangest of festive seasons, let's pledge to bring God's light into a dark world and share his love with those we meet. Happy Christmas. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for all who live in poverty and darkness. Let your light and love come into their lives this Christmas time. Through the birth of your son, Jesus, Help us to change to become more like him, leaving behind the sin of the past. 
Like the angels, help us to carry your good news to those we meet. Knowing you, we have nothing to fear. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.